My name is Brooke Pruitt. So we're a military family and we've been here for about a year now. I, I had just finished my counseling degree and I thought, oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna start counseling, I'm gonna start working. And then um, God blessed us with a, another child. So I ended up staying home and, and it was like, God just used that to sort of um, just break me down a little bit and show me more things I needed to work on. It just brought out so many things that I hadn't dealt with yet, just from my past with, um, you know, things like growing up with an addicted mother. Um, I had been through a divorce. My ex-husband was very uh, abusive and unfaithful, so I became a single mom, so that was difficult. But the Lord blessed me with my husband, Brian, now. And so we ended up in Texas. And um, the church that I went to there, it was just, the people there were just so authentic. It's almost like a hospital, you know, like you walk in and it's just like people just kind of surrounded around me and helped me to learn about a lot of the insecurities that I had. And I was sitting at one of our conferences there watching one of my uh, mentors speak. And I remember thinking, Lord, I want to do that. I want to stand up there and I want to speak to women and I want to help women heal. And it was a year later that I was standing up there doing that. So I actually spoke about healing and my own healing journey. And I went from that very broken woman who would like kind of walk in and just go stand in the corner and like, you know, be afraid to be noticed to showing up and letting your true self be seen. Leaving Texas, I felt like I'm doing really well, I'm healed and, and now I'm gonna go to Washington. And then it was like, well, COVID, you know, we got here and the, the churches were closed and there was just no way to really get connected. So I found myself kind of just sitting in this apartment that we had rented like, almost depressed and just like, God, what, you know, what's happening? You know, but it was like in those times when you're tested, you start to, things come to the surface and you realize like, oh, there's still more stuff that, you know, I need to work on. And, and a lot of it was um, forgiving myself. Sometimes there's broken places because we haven't truly accepted God's forgiveness for the things that we've done. And so that was just like a huge weight that came off of me. and. God always has a purpose and a plan, and He is not putting you on a shelf. He's such a gracious God, and He's just, He wants to grow you even more. He wants to teach you. If you're not up on a stage speaking, that's fine, because you know maybe someone's meant to do that right now, but every single thing you do makes a difference.